consider supporting us on Patreon for just one or more dollar per month. The link is below in the description. Hey what's up everyone, Kim here with today's Rockman 4 DLC review. In this video we're looking at I Don't Wanna Be by Gavin DeGrav. And if you want Broken by Seether, then I will have that in a separate video tomorrow. But is this 2003 pop rock single NFL to play? Let's find out. The drum shot starts with a semi long and measure weight, and you later get a 7 measure break. After a wait, you get the main verse beat, which is a semi slow 4 hit beat on a hi hat, with single and double kicks and snare strokes between some of the hits, as well as a lot of the hi hat opener. The chorus is a similar 4 hit beat just on the green symbol, with even more single and double kicks than in the verses. The double snare strokes also returns here. It continues like this until after the second chorus, where you get a similar beat to the verses, just with more single kicks, as well as a lot of short fails. This turns into another pretty similar beat, just with more extra snare hits between the hi-hat hits. There is also a lot of fails in this chart, which range from double hits to fast and slow rolls, which really made this chart a lot of fun for me, and I give the drum shot a 7.5 of 10. The bass shot got the same weight and breaks as in the drum charge, but after waiting get a change between the yellow and blue note, where the blue note got a short sustain, and it repeats like this with a few changes during the whole verse. It might sound repetitive, but the changes and hammers that comes in the riff did spice it up a bit. The chorus is just short and long sustain for the most part, but we do get some sections that got single note changes and three note alt strumming. Just like the drum shot, it continues like this until after the second chorus, where you get some very fun single note changes, mixed in with very short sustains and hammer ons This turns into three single note changes, then a long break before it repeats, which was the most boring section of this chart. Well, except for the 7 measure break, of course. But overall, this chart is pretty good for someone that doesn't want a super hard chart, and I did enjoy most of it. The last chorus also got more single note changes and hammer ons which made it even more fun. I give the bass shot a 7 out of 10. The guitar shot doesn't have the weight in the beginning, but it does have the 7 measure break, since they normally short the piano parts in Rockman 4, but they didn't here for some reason. The verses are pretty much the exact same as in the bass shot, just that you sometimes get a semi short yellow sustain, which is the only difference. The courses are chord and single note strumming, with sustains and timbre changes pretty much during the whole thing. There is also some single note changes between some of them a few times. Again, it continues like this until after a second chorus, which is where you get some fun strumming on single notes and two and three finger chords, with some same and short sustains between them. This turns into the same riff as in the bass arch, just three chords this time instead of single notes before a break. The last chorus also got some three note alt strumming thrown into the mix as well as some hammer ons which was the hardest section of this chart for sure. But all in all I enjoyed this chart just about as much as I did the bass chart, which is why I give the guitar chart a 7 out of 10. In summary I don't wanna be as good on all the instruments. I don't really have much else to say, so let's score this mother. I give I don't wanna be by Gavin DeGrav a total score of a 7.3 out of 10. But that's all for today's review, if you want more Rockman videos in the future, then make sure to like and subscribe, tell us your thoughts of this DLC single in the comments, and check out some of our other things here. Thank you as always for watching, and see you next time in the next video.